Four digit Wemos D1 Nixie clock low voltage circuit build. What we're going to do is we're going to fit header J3 so we can apply 9 volts to the input of the board. Then we fit diode D1, then decoupling capacitor C8, the 7805 which goes here, the capacitor C10 which is 220 microfarads 10 volts, and finally we're going to check that we get 5 volts out. First of all we put header J3 in its location and to do that I use a little bit of uh, tape to hold it in place while we're doing the soldering. Uh, I'm going to be using normal solder so nothing special about it, one millimeter um, lead free solder in this case. I don't prefer it but it works well for this. So we solder the two connectors uh, move the board around to make sure that we can get to the, uh, the soldering points easily and then take the tape off and that looks good. Next we put in the diode D1. This is a UF4007. Note that it has a white stripe at one end. Um, the, the silver stripe goes into the location with the square hole. And I just bend the lead over, make the, the leads more or less parallel, and then make sure that the diode actually sits there with the white stripe side going to the square hole. Then we just solder it quickly. Make sure that it looks about right. It needs a slight adjustment, so I adjusted it. And then we solder the other pin. Then we can trim up. Make sure that you get rid of the offcuts and don't leave them in your working area. I've made that mistake so many times and it's really annoying when you do it. So now we take capacitor C8, which is 100 nanofarads, um, and we're gonna splay out the leads a little bit just to make sure that uh, it doesn't fall out while we're soldering it. Trim up again. Now we're going to take the 7805 um, and place it in its location. Now it has to go with the metal tab facing downwards and the legs have to be bent at um, 90 degrees. You need to make sure here that the, um, the body or the tab especially of the 7805 doesn't go too far outside of the, uh, the area marked by the silk screen on the board. Um, we have to make sure that it doesn't short against any of the leads on the on the pins on the K155. Again, put a bit of tape on it just to hold it into place. And what I'll do here is I'll solder one of the pins, um, then check the orientation and the spacing of the component. Um, it's not very straight and it probably needs a bit of a push um, away from the K155. So we just give it a quick shove up. Um, which is easy when you've just got one lead soldered. That looks okay now. So what we can now do is we can trim up all three of the leads um, and solder the other two which need, uh, need the solder. And I'll go back and also retouch the, the first lead I did to make sure that it is soldered properly. Now we can take capacitor C10 and you have to be careful here that the white stripe on the capacitor goes to the white semicircle um, marked on the board. Splay the leads out slightly. Um, you can also use blue tack or something to hold it into place. Um, but I just slightly bend the leads. Then I can reflow the joint and make sure the capacitor is sitting down straight. When it all feels good then we can solder the other side.
There's no indicator on this board that the 5 volts is working yet. When we put the, um, the Wemos in, we, can, uh, we should be able to deal with that. So we take the meter and um, we can put some power onto the board. I'm putting the meter where you can see it, so um, you should be able to measure it uh, with me. Now apply the power onto the header, taking care of which side is ground and which side is the, the input voltage. And we place it in the right way round. There is a protection diode here, so if you do happen to get it wrong, it uh, doesn't hurt. We just check that the 7805 is not getting hot and then check the voltage. And what do we get? 4.985. 4.985, that's, um, that's good enough for what we need. So, there we go, that's it.